Long time no see, YouTube. Guess who's back? Jesse, and I'm back on my MR2. So thank you to all the MR2 subscribers that I have on this channel. I know that my channel began thanks to you guys. So this episode is really for you because I'm finally working on the on my K20 swapped MR2 and I've actually built and installed a new exhaust so I can finally head over to the dyno and tune the car. So without further ado, join me and let me walk you right through it. A few months ago, I started my K20 swapped MRS, but as you're about to hear, I didn't have an exhaust. Are you guys alive? Are your ears still functioning? Can you still hear me? Anyway, one of the main things that I wanted to do to the car is actually dyno the car. But to be honest, doing it with a straight pipe, even from a tuning perspective, is not smart because it will flow differently if there's a whole exhaust stuck to the header or if there's nothing. So that's why I had to absolutely go forward and create an exhaust because I did not really feel like buying something off the shelf. So as you can see here, I put together a little cat back, or should I say a header back, because there is no catalyzer on this system. And as you can see, I've already put it together and welded it on. I just have one single silencer on it. I am debating if I shouldn't put two, but I like the fact with this design is that I could reuse the stock brackets and the exhaust does not move, so that's really good. As you can see in the vertical pipe there, there would be probably space for another silencer. So that is something I might modify in the future if I get into trouble because I, the car is too loud for any reason. So let's see how this looks like. So this exhaust, don't look too closely to the welds, has been fabricated and built by myself. It's the first time I actually build an exhaust from scratch, so I'm pretty happy. And I wanted a little bit of a lateral kind of exhaust, so I didn't want it to come out straight because it would look much less good. So I decided going a bit sideways. The only thing I do not like about this exhaust is the fact that the header comes so far down that there's a high risk that I might actually hit stuff. And also for the fun of it, I decided to put uh, an extra silencer so we could actually test and see how the sound would be if I had two silencers and I to be honest when the car is on the dyno I might actually tune it with two silencers to avoid that all my neighbors stop calling the cops every time I start the engine <laughs> so this is what it looks like with a bumper on and uh, here you can really see how low it is and that is either a design flaw from the header manufacturer or something is not right with how the engine is tilted into the car, although it seems pretty installed straight to me. But anyhow, I'm going to be working with that. And to be honest, I didn't feel like cutting up the PPE headers in pieces just to uh, make it go up higher, to be honest. So I'm just going to leave it like this, even though in all fairness, it does look slightly ridiculous. Pretty sure that's going to be too loud. Let's see if I feel any leaks anywhere between the welds, but it seems to be perfect. So let's give it after some testing and see how it runs. I'm running on AFR 13, a bit rich to make it 
run nicely. So let's see what it actually sounds like. Yep, that's surely going to be too loud for most track days. So let's see what happens if I add a, an extra silencer. And make sure to tell me in the comments what you will prefer. Do you prefer the obnoxiously loud single silencer one or the twin one? So the good thing is I could just plug that in and give it a try to see if from a sound perspective it sounds any better. Comment below and tell me what you prefer. It is a bit ridiculous how it looks, but on the other hand, it's somehow funny as well. So anyway, let me just show you from the outside what it would look like if I decide to drive around with that. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. But anyway, so next step now is off to the dyno. All right, we're back in the office. So this was a little episode, just showing you a little bit what I have been up to with the MR2. As you can see, the next step is the dyno, and I'm looking very much forward to get my hands on the tuning aspect of the K20A, but this time with a Link ECU that Link ECU has been supporting me in my build since many years already, and they've helped me out also on this build. So in the next MR2 episode, you will be seeing a lot of dyno action and a lot of tuning action. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching this week's episode. Thank you also for being patient. I'm sorry I did not post very much recently. Life and work has been very hectic recently. So anyway, no excuses. I'll try to get back into the game and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, make sure to comment below and Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.